Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So first off, I want to apologise for the strange backdrop and the lighting and the fact that I look like this because I just got back from my holiday. I'm moving into a new room currently and the lighting is all a bit off until I get my light boxes back as if I open the curtains, it looks not good. But I'm here to do my TBR for this month in July. Now my TBR this month, as you could see from the thumbnail, is pretty ginormous. It's ginormous. And there is a reason for that, and the reason for that is I went on holiday, like I said, it's the 10th, so for the first 10 days I was on holiday, and I'm back now, and I've basically got a huge TBR for the rest of the month. So I'm gonna just carry on with the video, and hopefully you can all excuse this horrible lighting. Give this video a thumbs up, just to make me feel like I'm not upsetting you guys with this disgusting, disgusting lighting. In no particular order, I wanted to pick up just the book that's closest to me, and that is a middle grade novel which I'm reading this month, and that is The Sweet Adventures of Henry P. Twist by B. W. Van Alstyne. Now, this is a middle grade novel about a man who works in a bakery, and when the leader, the run, the man that runs it, owns the bakery, retires and his evil son takes over, the evil son wants to replace all of the factory workers with machines, and unfortunately, Henry P. Twist is let off. Now, when Henry P. Twist goes to a retirement home, he is greeted by a colourful character who turns out to be a fairy, and he's taken into the world of fairies where he can have internal youth and work for them. It is a story of myth and magicalness, and I wanted to read it this month because it is only small, and as you know, I'm trying to whittle down my TBR pile, so by getting this book done, it means I can get down the TBR pile. I'm gonna leave the book trailer at the end of this video for this book. It will be the first time I'm watching it whilst editing as well, so definitely stay to the end to watch that. It's a Film 14 book trailer and they are sponsoring this video, so thank you very much. Next I want to read The Dragon Legacy by Deborah A. Wolf. Now this is sent to me by Titan Books, and what's really great about this book is because it's as, as Aaron, it's as orange as me. This is an epic fantasy story with dragons, magic, and courtly intrigue set in a very high fantasy world, so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. So with this story basically with the king dying he's losing his control over the dragon and the dragon's sleep so if he dies I believe dragons come back I'm really looking forward to reading it and finding out more about it though as I am going in not knowing much so if you want to check this out go and check out the Goodreads page for sure and it will tell you more information another book I'm reading this month is The Librarians by Christy Sloats now this is an indie published novel which you all know I love reading indie novels hence why I have them in my TBR every single month now what is really cool uh, I am actually currently reading this one it's about a girl who's uh, um, going to university and she wants to go over to England and her grandma lives in Maine it's her last remaining family and basically her grandmother is dying and she has to rush over to Maine before she dies and when she's there her grandmother passes over a legacy and a prophecy to her about the library that she runs and basically our main character Emmy has to take over the library but she finds out that there are four magical books and these magical books are connected to her and her bloodline and some crazy stuff happens book world normal world. You should definitely check this out. I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I am actually reading at the moment. What I'm going to be trying to do every um, every book I read from now on to this month is I want to do updates on Twitter with aesthetics. So come and check me out on Twitter and come check out the aesthetics. But yes, The Librarians by Christy Sloat. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. Another book I'm reading this month and currently reading is Because You Love to Hate Me, which is the anthology I'm in, with, uh, which was edited by Anne-Marie and has 13 incredible authors and 13 fantastic booktubers who partnered up together. It is out tomorrow, July 11th, which is very exciting. So Because You Love to Hate Me is an anthology of short stories about villains, and I'm basically gonna be reading one every day for the rest of the month to get through them, and I really can't wait. I'm already, I think, four in, and my favorite favourite one so far was Gwen and Art and Lance. That was my favourite one so far. So I'm looking forward to getting into this one. And if you are going to read this one, don't forget to let me know on social media what you think of Beautiful Venom, the story I worked with, Cindy Pond, and my little extract essay. Let me know what you think. I can't wait. Some diversity this month. I am reading Pint It Dunn's The Girl uh, the Girl on the Verge, which is her new book, which released at the end of June. So this is about Can, and Can is a Thai girl going to a predominantly white school, and there's not others that look like her in this school. She lives with her grandmother, and her grandmother is um, Thai as well, obviously, and they have their culture and their beliefs, and basically, Can wants to do a fashion life merging her culture with the Western culture. Now, there's also a new girl that comes into the story, Shelley, and Can's mother provides home for Shelley. And Shelley, at first, they get along really well, but it turns out there's some secrets with Shelley, and Shelley is a little bit too interested in Can's life 
then is natural. So I believe there's a bit of intrigue and a bit of mystery in this as well. The, I believe this is a thriller contemporary, so I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. And I really love Pin Tip Dunn's writing. I have read like three of her books, two of her books, and I can't wait to get into her new one. So, girl on the verge. Next, I'm reading Talented by Sophie Davis, which is the first in a contemporary dystopian about a girl who has a, the ability to read minds. And with that, she has to, she's dealing with a lot. She goes to a school for people who are also talented, and it's a bit of like a school to learn the powers and to use them, as you get. I'm getting the X-Men vibes. And basically, her goal is to kill the man that killed her parents. So with trying to find the man and kill him, she's kind of thrust into a world of powers, and other people like her and maybe some romance and can she trust, can she not? Being a mind reader it's quite a massive power so I'm looking forward to getting into this one. It's going to be the first book I've read about a person that can control minds and I'm really, really excited. I'm also going to be reading Terry Brooks, The Elfstones of Shannara which is book two in the Shannara trilogy. Now I really liked the TV show and I'm going to say it, I really like the TV show so I thought I'd start reading the books. Now book two is based on the TV show. I have already read book one which is in my TBR. Keep watching, keep watching guys. And this is book two so this is what the the TV show is based on. So I'm looking forward to seeing the differences. A lot of people don't like the TV show who have read the books, but you know me, I never have expectations, so I always like things. So yes, I'm really looking forward to getting into this one, which, um, really, the first one really intrigued me, and the first one, um, I just, I don't know. This one is about Will, and he has to go to the Elven Settlement, and things go crazy. So this next portion is my TBR, but books that I've actually already read in the first 10 days. I'm not going to be reviewing them. I am just going to be showing them to you. Wait for the review at the end of the month. But these are the, um, six books that I read on holiday, which were part of my TBR for this month, okay? Starting off, um, is The Seafarer's Kiss by Julie Ember, which is a story of a mermaid falling in love with a a shield maiden called Ragnar and it's basically the mermaid's quest to go and be able to reunite with Ragnar as her people do not allow it and in that quest she makes a deal with Loki who tricks her and she has to then sort out other tasks to get a certain part of herself back to be able to go and save Ragnar. Really great and I'm not going to review it then don't review it don't review it but yes I'm TBR. Okay I'm going to find it really difficult to not review it and to keep saying I've already read it but you already know guys the books I'm talking about I've already read but this is my TBR. You get me, right? You get me. Thumbs up if you get me. The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Oslin, which is what I got in my Alcrate box this month. And this is a futuristic story about an island and a group of four of them going to find this island, which is supposed to be a sanctuary against the wolves. And the wolves are a group of people that have taken over the world. And yes, interesting. It's going to be in the movie. Leonardo DiCaprio has picked up the rights. So as mentioned previously, <laughs> The Sword of Shannara is on my TBR. This is book one in the trilogy which you already know I've already read and this is by Terry Brooks and this is the first in the original trilogy, the Shannara trilogy and yes, this is about Shane Flick who are brothers going on a quest to find the Sword of Shannara to take down an evil presence in the world. You have a band of men now, I am going to say, premise, you don't meet females in this story and the only females in this story are princesses or to be princesses and sirens but they really don't make a match up. I am going to just put the premise there saying I was quite shocked that this was a very, very heavy male predominant novel but I found out that apparently in the 80s that was the thing. That's what kind of happened in fantasies. So it's really nice to read this and compare to now and see the equality in stories. But yes, The Sword of Shannara, TBR. I will review this fully at the end of the month. So stay tuned for my thoughts on what I've just mentioned. Raw by Cora Carmack, a girl who has not got the ability of the Stormlings and she's supposed to be. She's a princess. She's betrothed to somebody she doesn't necessarily want to get married to. He's a bit of a nasty man. And she escapes with a band of like minded people and discovers that the world she's been taught about in her very confined palace is not the world that is actually out there. Raw. TBR. Guys. <laughs> I don't need to say much. I just don't need to say much about this. Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, they're on my TBR. I've already read them on holiday, as you already know by this point in the video. I will be reviewing this as a duology separately in a video as well at the end of the month. So if you're excited about my review for these two books, like this video. Hit the thumbs, cause I love them. Another book I'm reading is Enigma by Tonya Cooper. I have got the physical copy, but it is somewhere in between my new TBR cupboard and it. I need to find, I need a good hour to find it amongst the 400 or so books I've got in there. Enigma is the sequel to Anomaly, which is both out now. The geology is complete. It's a done series and it is about sci-fi and it is, I don't want to spoil the, first, the second one too much because obviously spoilers, but it's about a girl. She's introduced to a world of powers in a very contemporary world, which we know of. And 
and if you like sarcasm, nerdiness, powers, escape and romance, you will like this. So there you have it, there is my TBR for this month. I cannot wait to read these books and review them as well for the, 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 the ones I've read. Let me know in the comments down below what you're reading this month, if you've read any of the books here and if you're excited about me reading them or not excited about me reading them. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you're new, subscribe and I will see you very very soon for another video which is a humongous book haul, so stay tuned for that. Now also enjoy the Henry P. Twist novels book trailer which is coming after this and apart from that I'll see you all again very soon. Ta-da! What if you could travel to a world where you could begin again? A place where you'd never ever grow older. And your only problem is figuring out what type of candy you'd like to eat next. A world where fairies, myth, and magic abound. Where your tastiest dreams come true. Join Henry Peppermint Twist, master pastry chef extraordinaire, as he embarks on the sweetest journey of a lifetime.